how often do y'all find yourselves nodding off and not paying attention in one of your general education speech classes? Sorry. Yeah, no, I'm not here. Uh, so I personally find myself doing that quite a lot. So it made me think of the question, what if speech was changed to major specific? So I've taken a couple of general education classes and I can see some definite benefits that could be had from it being changed from general education to major specific. Uh, students would be able to be, they would be more engaged and professors could create a better learning environment, et cetera, et cetera. So first, there would be an increase in student engagement. Many students tend to space out and lose focus because they aren't as interested in non-major related classes. So it makes sense nowadays if there's a reel or something that we don't like, we just scroll or if there's a channel that we don't like, then we just change the channel. So in speech classes, we can't really do that. So then we end up not paying attention or we end up looking at our computer or our phones, which just leads to not a great learning environment. In an article written by Perkahua Peralta, he states that students will be more likely to pay attention when trying to avoid failure and strive for success, which in turn activates certain brain devices. So whenever something is interesting to us, we'll put in more effort to learn it, and that'll in turn activate some of the brain devices, says Peralta, which will help us retain some of the knowledge than we would other, otherwise retain if we were just not really paying attention and just looking at our phones. Uh, our professors would also have an easier time teaching the students who are actively engaging in class. Doc, Dr. Cardo, Jodea, and Lucas all do a great job lecturing to us, but it's gotta be difficult whenever they ask questions to a class that doesn't really answer back and just kind of blankly stares at them whenever they are responding to their questions or just not even answering them in general. Author Zhao Shiping found that students were deeply influenced by teaching support and were more likely to succeed when they received this positive influence. So whenever students are kind of engaging with their professors, it makes sense that professors will be able to teach better, will be able to really give it their all and put in more effort because they'll be having teachers, they'll be having students that genuinely care about what they're learning. So they'll be able to give better support and then students will everyone will benefit from that extra support. There would also be an increase in attendance. I personally noticed that in most of my general education classes, there is a decrease in attendance when compared to my major specific classes. And we all know that there's people that show up to every single lecture, no matter their, the day, if they're sick or whatever. And then there's people that tend to skip at least seems like once a week. But I noticed that there are more people that tend to skip in my general education classes and in my major classes. Rashley Waldrop writes that students are more likely to attend classes that interested them and directly influence them, which in turn positively correlates with student achievement negatively with school dropout. I think I've heard of people that drop out, usually they drop out because they try to do something that they don't really wanna do, learn stuff that they don't wanna learn. And whenever we are learning stuff that we are genuinely intrigued in, it's easier to retain it and pay attention and want to be there and want to succeed. So whenever we're able to make that connection, then it makes sense that students will, will, be, will benefit from it. Classes will also be able to be more in depth because they will, engineering students will already have a background in engineering classes, business and business classes. So then they can build off of some of the information that they've learned and they can apply it to some of the speeches that they are giving. The speeches will also be more beneficial because they can be over topics or ideas that, are in, that they will give in their profession. So for example, an engineering student would give a speech over say the construction of a building or the components of a newly manufactured part and a business major could give a speech about the impacts of globalization on a business, etc. And so it makes sense that they would be able to give those speeches to students that are also learning similar things, they can ask questions about those speeches better and stuff like that. Also, major specific speeches would be able to better prepare students for their future. In today's society, when there are times of high unemployment, many people attribute this to a disconnect between education and employability. Some people 
I'm sure we've all heard of people that graduate and then they end up bartending or serving. And that's sometimes because there is a little bit of a disconnect, which is not always the case. Sometimes that just happens. And so that's just, that's just how it is. And I have a little funny video that goes along with it. What level of idiot are you exactly? <laughs> Hear me out, sir. Okay. Well, she's going to learn English and grammar. But what does it matter? Everything's short and anyway. BRB, LOL, IDK, IKR, GG, ASAP. All right. What about geography? That's why we have these things. History, they're all dead. Ever heard of let the past be the past? Learning how to write? Texting. Learning other languages like Spanish? Three words. Dora the Explorer. So that is a little bit of an over-exaggeration, but y'all can kind of see the point where sometimes there is a little bit of a disconnect and people don't see how some of the stuff they learn will apply to real life before they think of it as something that is common sense. Students would also get the same exposure as a general education class. Um, I'm not saying we should get rid of speech at all, Speech is definitely amazing. It helps us practice skills that we don't normally get to practice. But if we did a major specific class, then they could also practice those skills while also um, narrowing it down to something that will benefit them in the future. In many cases, students treat general education class as a checklist of courses. I am definitely, uh, I've definitely done this before. I look at my degree works and I just see another class that I have to check off my list. But if I saw it as something that could better prepare me for my future, then I would be more likely to pay attention and make the effort to get the most out of that course. Now for the call to action. There are numerous benefits that I've stated. Uh, better student engagement. Student professors can make a better learning environment for everybody, which will be beneficial to them and to the students. Um, so the first thing would be to spread this information. If I'm the only person that believes this should be a change, then nothing would come of it but if you spread it to your friends and they believe that it is a good cause then we could bring it to SGA or other student organizations and with their help we could bring it in front of the provost or the dean of students and really make a change that can benefit each and every ACU student. Thank you. So a few things. Yeah. <laughs>